Hi, I'm Jess and I'm on the outreach team here at AdGene. We communicate with people outside of AdGene to tell them about what's in the collection and about AdGene services. And each one of us on the outreach team has a bit of a specialization. Someone looks after the blog, someone looks after the website, and I look after the Asia Pacific region and our distributors. So I help them know that AdGene is there for them as well, and also with any ordering processes which might differ from the US. Uh, so I did a PhD in academia and it was on microbial metabolism but I decided that wasn't really for me academia so I moved straight into a postdoc in a government lab and after that I actually moved to Boston to an industry biotech where I worked for four years on GMO corn so I had a bit of a meandering career before I made my way to AdGene and I managed to work in academia government industry and now the nonprofit sector and so it's it's been an interesting ride but AdGene is definitely my favorite job so far. So while my PhD was in academia, I actually had an industry partner and that meant that every quarter I had to give a presentation and a written report on what I'd been doing with myself the past three months. And while I actually hated doing this, it was great experience in condensing my research down for lay people and also for taking stock of what I was doing and thinking about what the next step should be. And obviously a PhD really helps when you're trying to do project management and also communication because that's a big thesis that you have to write. And so I I think that while it's not directly related to what I do here at AdGene right now, the uh, communication and the project management side of it definitely help in my role here. So Australia, as you know, is very far away from pretty much anywhere except New Zealand. And so we are a little bit isolated as a, as a scientific community, um, even though we do do a little bit of traveling during, so during my PhD, I went to an international conference and I spent a summer in Wisconsin to use some equipment at the University of Wisconsin. So we tend to have smaller research communities and I guess our collaborators are usually pretty far away. But that also means on the flip side that we get to do lots of travel and we get to interact with lots of people who are not the necessarily like us, which I really think helps me with my job here at AdGene, where my job is to travel and talk to scientists all over the world. So that was a really good grounding in that. So my advice to grad students as far as do's and don'ts is they're kind of related actually. I would say don't assume that you're definitely going to go into academia, even if you think that's exactly what you want to do. Take advantage of networking opportunities, of groups around campus that maybe focus on science communication or other aspects of a career that you might not think of when you're thinking of academia. Um, and, and definitely embrace networking, that's how I got my job here at AdGene. And even if you do end up in academia, having those skills is uh, essential for an academic as well, being good at science communication, being great at project management, um, the end. <laughs>